Jerry, a draw at Brangie. It feels like a result you would have taken beforehand, but I suppose that the hint of irritation and the fact it's a last second goal cost you all three. Yeah, good assumption. Maybe we, we're in the dressing room really at this point. That's a good sign, I guess, of a good side. Um, and, and obviously Braintree are delighted to get a point as well, which is in their fans are up. And so is their team, rightly so, because they get a late equaliser against us. And that's another sign that we're a good side. And as we said, people, people want to beat us because we're up there. Um, for us, really, you know, if I sort of look at the whole game and did we deserve to win the whole game? I think once we got ourselves in a position with a fantastic goal, by the way, really good team passing move, wonderful finish by Scott. I thought we did deserve to win it then because we'd had to defend a lot in the game. And any team here will have to defend a lot. Um, you know, the lad's only just gone back in the side who, who's got <laughs> unbelievable long throw. It is it's such a weapon. Did you expect it? No, I was joking on the way up about when we used to come here and we used to face a war of attrition from a totally different style of play. And I think... Um, I think this team's not, not a direct team per se, per se. I think it's a team that works hard to get in positions where they can deliver long passes, long diagonals, try and overload in, in wide areas, go to almost like a 4-2-4. Sometimes the wide players are popping inside and overload in midfield, so they've got an idea about it. And um, yeah, I like them. I think the manager's a good manager. Um, and a lot of teams will find it hard to come here and get a result. They've been on a very good run. They're unbeaten now in eight. Um, so for us, really, when we look at it, it's not a bad point away from home. If you can still pick up points at really difficult places, it's not a bad thing. The, just to go back to it, the disappointment is we've scored a wonderful goal. They've not really hurt us. So when I say we're under threat, it was only lots and lots of long balls coming in our box, and we defended them so well. The disappointment is right at the death. It didn't quite fall right for us. What was your view on the goal? We'll go back to the goal we scored in a moment. The goal conceded. Uh, has anybody sort of taken responsibility on it? Well, no, we'll, we'll lose. It's quite a stereotypical thing. We'll lose as a team. We know inside. We, we won't come on here on the camera and, and say what, who we think was wrong. And, and we'll have to dissect it anyway because it happened so quick. The only thing I'll say about it is when the first throws come in, we've defended it really well. We've lined up and positioned ourselves um, tactically in the middle of the goal and near post. Because we've had to defend that one so well, I think it's Jordan Dyer defended it and then it's gone back out for another throw in it was the speed that they picked up and threw it back in at um, because it's gone back to him directly right in the same position that's a bit of bad luck he's picked it up and threw it back in. we haven't been able to position ourselves in a six yard box like we did for the first phase and then there's a little bit of a melee players are having to work backwards rather than attacking it forwards and the ball's falling right for them and I think it's a good finish on the far post I thought we'd gone the side netting but it's obviously a good finish but again we We'll be we'll be disappointed, but that's, it's not like they've we've had to. Ollie's had a lot to do. There's not been loads of saves, not cut us open or anything like that. So we've had to defend. You've got to defend in football. You've got to defend when you come away from home. And um, and today, we'll, we you know it's a point. We're um, still in a really really good position in the league. Um, we've got a wonderful FA Cup tie to look forward to at Worthing. Really positive group. Everyone's training so well. I said to you before the game, good sign of a good team is how well we train, and they bring that to the game as well. So um, yeah, all, all upbeat, all positive. Just just that little bit of disappointment where we had those three points didn't we right in our hands and we couldn't quite get over the line it's the longest sequence of scoring a goal in a game for Bath City for 20 plus years and, and what a goal as well to mark it really well worked down the right hand side and Scott Wilson only needs like half an eye on goal and he's there to put it into the top corner we, we, he came off soon after were you going to substitute him just before it mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah well, as I'll be honest I'm not going to lie to you it was um, we know Scott only needs a moment in the game we, we know we know he's a wonderful finisher but we've just felt as if we wanted um Bit what Cody brings us, they're totally different players. We know we'll sometimes play them as a two, but Cody Cody wins a hell of a lot of flick-ons and gets hold of the ball. Scotty likes to run in behind and get down the sides. But he's a wonderful finisher once he's in the box. I mean that one he's facing sideways across this way and he's wrapped his foot around it and it's gone in top corner before the keepers even smelt it. So as I said, that was a wonderful move. Really, really shows what we are at the moment, highlights what sort of good team we are. Um, we, we keep talking about the back four in the midfield. They've been great and they they work ever so hard on the goalkeeper to try and limit chances for teams. And if you look at the XG and all the games we've been playing, they're really down for teams that are trying to... Teams got to work really hard to score against us. Really hard. And um, we didn't have a bit of luck on the end there. Credit credit to Angelo and his team, as I said. They're a, they're a side that will, will definitely push on in the league. They're a side that... Uh, in a little bit of transition they're just working themselves out as a group he's making a few changes you know bringing Critchlow and people like that when you throw him on you know there's going to be a pace about him at the top put a centre centre back forward as I said so they were going for it because they are 1-0 down and that's hard to d defend against at times and we did it for, for 95 minutes 94 minutes couldn't quite see it out so um, 
yeah, we'll, we'll have a good week training. We'll, we'll have a, a nice trip back on the coach. Hopefully, it's a better trip than the one on the way up. And um, and look forward to training Tuesday, Thursday, detail around Worthing and go down there and, and get ourselves in a, in, a, in a positive manner to try and win the game because you, you need to try and win in the FA Cup, and that's what we'll be going there to do. Said on commentary that Jordan Dyer was a more warrior than Roman today. He really threw himself in the way. He picked up the odd bump and bruise. Looked like he hurt his arm. Maybe is he all okay? He's struggling a bit with it now. I've just seen Lee and Sarah looking at him, talking to him. Um, I think he's a bit worried about playing in his medal, his golf, in his golf tomorrow more than anything. But no, he's um, he's he's been in great form, Jordan. I got to say that he's um, he had to wait and be patient to get himself back in the team, um, playing left side in a back four. But he's been terrific, honestly. I said to him before the game and the group actually because we were working on a set piece. I don't see many in the league better in the air than him. He, he, he leaps with a real presence and, and pops it back where it's come from. Um, so hopefully it'll be all right. He'll have to settle down over the next couple of days. Um, he's got a week. He's got a week, and hopefully it's just a bang and it's a little bit tender. So um, yeah, looking looking like we've got a full full bill of health and hopefully a big squad to choose from going down to Worthing on, on Saturday. What are you expecting from that game? They drew today, a couple sent off, 2-2 mm. draw. They often seem to be in high-scoring games. They score a lot, but they, they're susceptible sometimes at the back. Yeah, maybe that's a, you know, that's probably a fair comment. Um, but one thing we do know about them, that if they get a rhythm, um, they're a wonderful side to, to watch. They're a wonderful side to play against. We went down there and won 3-2 last year and put in a really strong performance. Um, good pitch. I know there'll be a lot of our fans going down there as well and it's a lovely carrot in it the first round. We're all trying to get to that elusive first round. I've said before that I'd love to love to get this club in the first round proper. We've gone a couple of stages further now and we've looked good. Um, I don't think they'll look forward to playing us either because they know what a good side we are. Away from home especially, we're a very good side. Um, but we've got, to, we've got to go there and come up with a game plan. I've already thought about it, not too much because I want to focus on this game. No disrespect at all. I needed to, I need to get this game done and try and get a positive result here. And now we know I'll be thinking about it on the coach on the way back. We got a game plan already in my head and the way we're going to go, um, and we're going to go for it. And it should be, um, should be a really good game. And well done for a point six years in charge as well. Congratulations. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bud.